Hello guys, I'm Benjamin and today we will build a computer. So let's get to it. First what you want to do is unbox the parts. If you have new parts, I have used parts so I don't have boxes right now here. And for this build we'll use this ASRock motherboard and Intel Pentium dual core CPU and first what you want to do is unlatch this latch and open CPU shield then you'll see on the processor here's a little triangle you need to line up this with triangle on motherboard right here so just line up the processor and hold it by its sides put it into socket and it should fall down in his position so don't push on the processor because you can bend those pins and also don't touch them. Then close the cover and latch it. Then next step is installing the RAMs. So undo these clips and also on the bottom and when you do this you can take your RAM I'm using this Kingston 2 gig RAM and just line up the notch with the hole in the RAM, line it up and press it down with, until it clicks into place like that. The same goes for the other line up this notch and push it inside until it clicks into place like that so now we installed the RAM and the processor and now it's time to install the cooler. So, you will need to install this thermal paste if your cooler doesn't come with paste. So, you need to do that first. It's not hard. So, first I, what I recommend to you is take your motherboard and flip it over and here's your processor socket right there and if you have this you will just line up those metal screw molding points right on there so then you just turn your, your motherboard around you need to apply thermal paste to the CPU so just take your cap off and 
apply thermal paste to the CPU. Not too much, just a little. Like that. And then you just take your cooler and place it on top. And then you need to screw this screw is done or whatever your cooler requires for mounting. So just screw that in. So when you install your cooler you just need to connect it to the right pins. It will in most cases show on the motherboard where is that header. If not, usually it's like that for pin for Intel. And now it's time to Take your case and install your motherboard in. So now it's time to take everything and install to the case. So first you want to undo screws on the case and take your side cover Just like that. And then you want to take your motherboard and see if all the, the standoffs are lined correctly. Then you want to install IO Shield. But for this motherboard it's pretty old, I lost it somewhere, so we won't be installing this on that one. So without IO shield it's a little harder to, to line up. But Now, when you complete this step, you will just need to screw that motherboard in. So now, when you don't have so many cables to worry about, I will recommend to plug them in for front panel connectors like power button, receipt button, fans and USB SD card reader. So they are labeled like we can see here and just plug them all in like that so <coughs> Now it's time to install accessories and stuff like that, like hard drive, power supply, and get that one 
Mm. Till these holes just line up. Don't forget the other side of the computer. You will also need to unscrew that side if your case support that. There's many cases on the market that are different in each other. So in one cases you might don't have to do that. Remove that side panel. And you need to also screw that in here. So when you installed and screw everything in, you are pretty much ready to go and install power supply. I have here 420 watt power supply so we'll install that in a moment here you you'll need to line up your power supply with holes in the case like that and then just screw that into place so when you have your power supply installed you can start wiring all the components and also I'd like to have power ma cable management so you need zip ties and stuff like that like so power to CPU right there <laughs> you'll also need to install this battery <laughs> and Our hard drive, you just connect all the cables and like that, we can connect optical drive. Data connection in. and the same on the other board just line up this notch with that hole right here and it 
should click in place like that then you have your SATA connector for disk hard drive SSD solid state if you have one And you are now pretty much done with this build and because this is more like media center I want a graphics card 2 gig so just line up here line up the connector till it clicks in place and now you can take your screwdriver and screw it in like and now if you want my battery just went out so now we are pretty much done if you want cable management then you will need a pair of zip ties and pliers to cut it and I personally don't need cable management because it's managed enough. And now you just install that side cover with screws in it. Now you have a working computer and that's all for today and see you in the next video. Please like, share and subscribe.